Welcome my friends. If you've been riding or racing one of these or one of those long enough, eventually you're going to fall down and go boom. It happens to all of us at some point. Hopefully your bike's okay. Hopefully you're okay. But in the process, you're most likely going to tear up your expensive bibs or jersey. I'm going to show you a cheap, easy way that you might be able to fix those coming right up. All right, so you've been out doing some road riding and unfortunately some road surfing, or you've been out riding your mountain bike and you've caught your jersey, bib, or shorts on a tree branch or a thorn branch like I seem to do frequently, and now you've got a good size hole in it and you want to fix it. Uh, easy process, you'll need three items to do it. You'll need a standard iron that you can get at Walmart, Target, or Amazon for about $15 or $20, maybe more, maybe less. I don't know, I haven't bought an iron in a while. If you don't already have one, you'll need one. Other than that, you'll need a flat surface such as an ironing board or a metal table or something that you can put high heat to. If you put high heat to your kitchen table, you're going to damage your kitchen table and somebody will be upset at you if you're not upset yourself. Trust me on that one. The next product you'll need is this. It's called Iron Men. It's available on Amazon or other places, $15 on Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link down below. And with this, you'll get a six by 10 inch patch. I've had this one for five or six years and I've used maybe a quarter of it. That's on cycling jerseys, bibs, uh, other types of uh, cycling gear, as well as jeans, canvas, and other materials. It works on a lot of items, well worth it. Easy to do, we'll get right to it. So this is the Iron Men. Like I said, six by 10 inch patch of it is what comes with it initially. Got my iron on, and the iron, pretty much I set to the, the highest temperature possible. This is what the material looks like, and then you have a another piece of material that you put between the iron and the Iron Men so it doesn't uh, melt although I've never had issues with it. See, I've already got some patches cut from uh, previous ones. So uh, you wanna get the material lined up so you've got my hole. Uh, what I use also, and you don't need this, but it does make it a touch easier, is I've got some sublimation heat tape. I use this sublimation tape to align the, uh, the tear. So right there's one, and I'm gonna put another piece on the other side. about there is good enough. Now I've got the heat tape lined up to get the edges together. That's going to help me down the road. After that, I'm gonna flip it inside out because you want the heat patch to be on the inside. And there's my tear, you can still see. And you wanna lay that out somewhat flat or as flat as you can without any other material under it. And then from there, you just need a patch that's the correct size for what you're looking to fix. Cut it off with a pair of scissors. Lay it on top, and then you take that material that I said you used to protect it, lay it down flat, and take your iron to it, and pressure. Just hold it for about 30 seconds to a minute or so. I didn't set a timer, so I'm gonna kinda wing it here. Okay, see what we got. Turn it back right side. Peel my heat tape off. Like I said, the heat tape is not necessary. I have it because I do a lot of sublimation work. All right, folks, there it is. You can see uh, two to three minutes to fix this. Good solid patch. It's not gonna open back up. If you're familiar with cycling gear, uh, $100 to $200 on a jersey or bibs, not out of the realm of possibility. To be able to fix that for about 50 cents uh, worth of material, is not a bad thing. Highly recommend it. This company is not giving me any consideration whatsoever. They're not paying me to do this video. It's one of those products that I use that I think works great and I suggest that you get. Uh, use my Amazon affiliate link if you want to. Don't, it's entirely up to you. But again, get the product. It works well. It works on jeans, canvas, and other materials other than cycling gear, which is a bonus. Other than that, I want you to know one thing. Your couch sucks. It's time for you to get up, get on, get out on your bicycle and do something epic. Like, don't crash your bicycle. See you.